players have come out. That's the German lineup. Three World Cup winners in it, but also a chance for those fringe players like Plattenhardt at left back, like Schuler, who's made a decent impression for Bayern at centre half. Yeah, he plays alongside. And partnering the birthday boy, Samuel Umtiti, who is 24 today at centre back. And I know that. There are many people who have a great deal of time for Adrian Rabio in midfield. Yeah, he's been he's looked absolutely fab. I got his frustration reading the, the reports of his comments. A bit where he lost me was where he claimed to be a better player than Ungolo Conte. Here's Lacazette. Turned aside by Kevin Trapp. First real action for the PSG well, goalkeeper. I, I, I don't think uh, before we see this replay you should be suggesting you're a better player than a teammate of yours club and country I don't think that bodes well for uh, the relationship in there anyway good good effort from Lacazette uh, who probably will be in this Gundogan flattened hearts and there's a shot and now France can break counter very much on look at Mbappe nearest the camera trying to stay onside Martial now it's Mbappe, and the flag is up. And Mbappe looks quizzically at his teammate. Well, in all fairness, I, I don't think Mbappe or anybody else made a great run for Martial here. Somebody has to try and get round. The, Mbappe's going to try and bend that run around the outside of Martial while he drives the ball inside, and that draws the defender in for the little flick to the right. Plus, it keeps himself onside, John. Once he goes directly towards the goal... And Emery Chan get running up. Not a great clearance. Rabio. Mbappe. Smart work on the part of both striker and goalkeeper. Yeah, this is a super little fake here with the right. Sells two players, the dummy. Kadira can't get there. And for somebody who's had not a lot of game time, that's a good reaction from Kevin Trapp. Thursday, November the 30th, 10.30 Eastern, ESPN, your home for the Audi 2017 MLS Cup playoffs. The second leg of the Western Conference Championship sees the defending champion Seattle Sounders hosting the Houston Dynamo from CenturyLink Field. Coverage begins 10.30 Eastern on ESPN. It's almost also streaming live on the ESPN app. And just as a footnote, I should add that the only place you can see MLS Cup in all its glory is here on ESPN on Saturday, December the 9th, the climax of the US domestic football season. Matuidi. Dinia. Martial! Oh. Lacazette turned to the linesman. It was his first move, and he saw no flag. Goal stands, France lead. Well, ask me that question again, John. I've just changed my mind to France because it hits Evan Flood. But... <laughs> Super skill here. Selsula, dummy of the highest order. Great skill. We saw the little fake from Mbappe just a minute ago. Now we're seeing it from the other youngster, Anthony Martial. What fantastic composure there. And as the 14 Chan just playing him on, it was a tight one. My initial reaction was offside, but it was tight. Super work. Absolutely tremendous skill in the penalty area. That's how not to panic, John. Second international goal for the Arsenal striker, Alexander Lacazette. is Hummels and it's not often that Germany trail at home on their last eight internet trap now the potential for a German break Ozil Werner through the middle Gundogan one way Draxler in support Chan two popping up deflection on that made it more comfortable for the goalkeeper and Julian Draxler. Yeah. 
Draxler up against Chalet. Drilling that one in and turned wide by Rudiger on the six yard line. He's only been on the pitch eight minutes. Rudiger has had an impact. Great from Drexler. Little step over. This is centre back's finish. <laughs> he was in the right place, wasn't he? But Absolutely he wasn't the right dropping. player, though, from Germany's point of view. He's not even close. And sort his feet out and open up his body. He knows. Lacazette, Mbappe waits in the centre, here he is, delicate little touch forward, Take, almost gets it back from Matuidi, that's Rabiot diving in, and suddenly it just might open up a little bit here for Germany, the Mesut Ozil makes the calculation, feeds it through, it's Timo Werner, it's a great chance, and it's won, the world champions are level, Timo Werner kept his composure, and buried the chance, Werner now makes it seven international goals in ten appearances. Well, again, that man, Rabiot, turnover possession. Is awaiting perfectly. And the times it wonderfully. Actually gets it caught under his feet. Just plays it in between the legs of Mandanda. Doesn't really get his feet set. Decent finish from Werner in the end. A very good goal on the counter-attack. Rabiot there caught again. Germany break. I think you see this at the World Cup this summer, even some of the big teams playing on the counter-attack, breaking into space. Brand is a perfect player for that. Cool finish from a man in form, Timo Werner. Oh, he's a very exciting young player. He's great his attribute is his pace. He scored three goals at the Confed Cup in the summer and got three in the World Cup qualifiers against the Czech Republic and Norway. In oh, several, Manuel Neuer, of course, still out at the moment. Right across the face of the six-yard box. That was a stretch for the French, put in by Plattenhardt. It was fortunate there for Ant. Plattenhardt all evening has hugged the touchline. What a wonderful ball in that is. Just too quick for Varane. He's sliding. Gets lucky that doesn't go. Ozil and Draxler, the three players near the ball. All hands on deck here for France. It's Tony Crows. Oh, what a shot! Rattling the frame of the goal. Oh, the technique's perfect. Up and down over the wall. Really unfortunate. Comes off the cross part and Danda gets a touch. Just surprises Werner. Really get his body behind it. He will win over the Czech Republic very early in the World Cup campaign. Toliso. Beautifully done. Finally waited. Great chance. Like I said, second goal of the night for him. Second lead of the game for France. Strolling through. He made that look easy. And the world champions behind again with 20 minutes to go. They're so composed in possession, France. Again, it's Saliso, who's had a very good game for midfield. Under a bit of pressure. He takes that ball away from the pressure. Just there. Pape checks his shoulder. Rudiger comes out, leaves that space. Flattenhardt plays. Like I said, onside, it's a wonderful finish. Mbappe's been wonderful. Lacazette's been clinical. It's lovely the way he checks his stride here before shooting. Look at that way to pass from Mbappe. Head up. Just that little delay there. So that's the second one we see in between the legs. Keeper comes out, trying to make themselves big. Good to see as well him uh, celebrating with Antoine Griezmann. Well, there's a real chemistry amongst this, this French squad. What a week in training. Germany need another goal from somewhere here now. And Werner on the volley. 
unable to provide it this time. Now we have a pitch invasion, which hopefully won't last for very long, but the home crowd certainly haven't had much else to shout about really tonight in this second half. <laughs> it's a good run, actually. Bit of a dive at the end, I think. Yes, it is only a friendly match, but Germany just seconds away from their first defeat since last year's European Championships. Can they avoid it? Oh, they can! With almost the last kick of the game! Lars Stindl not long off the bench. He's hardly had a touch. It was a big one there, though. It means that almost on the stroke of full time, it's 2-2 between Germany and France. A method is a, what a pass. This is little turn away from Marshall that one there good to the first time set Stindl it's very good at arriving in the box late but Frank Lampard has this vision from Ozil outside of the left foot first time set perfect that was a lovely goal great goal Montanda almost gets out of the way of it really and his near post